Let's take a look at the natural habitat of the cardinal tetra and the holding pens of the fish destined for home aquariums. This is a very shallow pool of water, barely ankle deep, in the flooded forest where thousands of fish representing dozens of species have been concentrated and trapped by receding water levels. Left alone, most if not all of these fish would perish, but the gentle capture individually by hand and in small handmade traps of many of these fish provides an important source of income to rural families. And furthermore, it's an income that's linked to the conservation of habitat, because without a clean, healthy ecosystem, the fish that provide these livelihoods to these rural families do not thrive. Fish are captured by hand and held in these pens in the river until enough are accumulated to make the transport downriver feasible. Great numbers of fish are captured for the aquarium fish trade, but most of them are otherwise doomed, and their populations naturally boom in response to rising water levels in this heavily flood-impacted ecosystem, replenishing the populations for the next year. The income generated by the fishing activity prevents the incursion of environmentally destructive industries that are rampant in other parts of the Amazon.